This afternoon, the Springfield Stallions of the Continental Indoor Football League held a press conference at the Prairie Capital Convention Center where Stallion owners Justin Geddes and Chris Underwood introduced the newest member of the ownership group, former WWE, Intercontinental, and European champion D'Lo Brown. D'Lo Brown discussed what he'll bring to the team as well as some details of a wrestling event as a special attraction to the season opening home game. So take a minute to welcome everybody to uh, the press conference this afternoon. Thanks for coming out. It's a pretty important day for Justin and I to be able to welcome D'Lo. Uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. just have a couple of things I'd like to point out first that our single game tickets are on sale as of today. They can be purchased, purchased at any Ticketmaster location or uh, here at the uh, arena ticket office. Uh, season tickets can be purchased, I believe, there as well or from uh, the Springfield Stallions office. You need more information. You can get that at springfieldstallions.com. Also, Coach Gates training camp, his mini camp took uh, first play, uh, first mini camp took place uh, a few weeks ago. There's three more mini camps. Um, they are February 4th, 11th, and 18th. They are open to the public, um, but they take place down at Pontoon Beach at a place called Soccer for Fun. Um, right now, um, take a little time to introduce. Um, Justin and I are pretty excited about uh, welcoming a new co-owner here to Springfield. Brings a lot of success to the table, a lot of connections. Uh, great guy as well to work with. We're looking very much forward to it. Right now, I'll take the time to introduce the Stallions' new co-owner, D'Lo Brown. exciting time for me. Uh, from the day I was a small kid, I've always wanted to be part of football. Football's always followed me around my whole life. In fact, the three constant things in my life have always been my family, my wrestling career, and football. And with that, I want to bring that commitment here to the Stallions. With Chris and Justin, we are committed, and I will go on record, we are committed to being the best, and I'll use the term, sports, and entertainment here to Springfield. Um, in terms of our team, Coach Gates, he is out there. He is looking for the best players with every mini camp, with every practice. We are committed. And I'm going to tell you this, these Stallions will win. I have known nothing but success in my life and my career, and I want to bring that here to this organization. Uh, whatever aspect, I can help. I will be with these gentlemen, hands on, day in and day out, trying to represent this city and bring them a winner. Uh, Springfield deserves nothing less than a winner. One more thing, our first home game, April 7th. I've got that date circled on my calendar. Because the Kalamazoo explosion are coming here and we are going to lay the smack down on them. We're going to knock them around this arena and knock them straight back to Kalamazoo. And after that, after that said and done, there's going to be a wrestling show. Now Dilo Brown's coming out now. There's going to be a wrestling show. I am taking personal pride in putting on the best wrestling show Springfield has ever seen. I will be there. A bunch of my friends will be there. And you know who all those guys are. We are committed. This organization is committed from the top all the way down to the guy who cleans the turf to the ring board. Everybody is committed to bringing the best here to Springfield, and we will do that by any means necessary. Go Bears. Go Stallions. <laughs> Anybody have any questions at all or anything for uh, regarding football or D-Lo? Okay. okay, I'm back up here. <clears throat> uh, is there any new ideas or anything you want to bring to the table maybe to maybe change some things with the team or maybe improve on? You know, in terms of talent, I'll leave that to coach. 
uh, but I'll definitely be in his ear. Uh, and if we can find any way to put a better product on the field, we'll definitely do that. Um, in terms of having to spend more as an ownership group, in terms of better uniforms, uh, we will do whatever we can. Okay. Uh, is this your first ownership in any organization like this? Yeah. Uh, other than wrestling, I've, I've dabbled in, in ownership of wrestling a company down in Florida for a little while, but this is my first ownership in a professional <coughs> football team, and I'm, uh, I'm excitedly nervous. Uh, it's going to be fun. Um, I'm just looking forward to it. Right. What's uh, what's kind of been the reaction, I guess, from everybody when you take on the ownership? Is everybody right it's there with you? It's been extremely positive uh, from everyone here in the front office. Uh, to people I've seen, uh, even when I left home this morning, you know, it, it broke online, the press release went out, and I've had my neighbors come to me and say, oh, you're in pro football now, and so it's been a, a positive thing. You said uh, this is something you've always wanted to get involved with, I guess, football, uh, why is that? Uh, because I've played football since I was old enough to hold a helmet, and uh, I guess those who don't make it to the next level want to help someone else get to that next level, so I've always wanted to be involved with football. Concerning the wrestling aspect, how often do you plan to run wrestling shows and in an already crowded wrestling market in Illinois with about 35 to 45 different feds running all over the state, mm -hmm. why create another wrestling fed? Because those 35 to 40 guys running all over the state can't bring the guys I can bring. Including Chicago and St. Louis? Well, if you're not, I'm, I'm not going to use their three little letters, but that's different. That's a whole different animal. But guys, I know these other smaller groups can't do it. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we don't plan on running. It's not a wrestling show to go along with, or a wrestling organization to go along with a football organization. It's just a one-show deal, and we'll see how it goes after that. But uh, in terms of talent, you know, they don't have the connections I do. Devo, are you concerned about maybe the credibility factor? You know, some people think about wrestling not being connected on the up and up, carrying over maybe to the football and kite, how, how you would manage to separate? Uh, we'll keep them completely separate. And if people don't believe it's on the up and up, all they have to do is come and see the product. It's irrelevant if wrestling is predetermined or what it is. It's entertainment. Um, the games aren't going to be predetermined. That's for real. Um, and wrestling is just an entertainment just for post-game activities. We're not merging the two. We're not melding the two together. They're totally separate entities. It goes on top of our goals to make make the whole evening an entertainment. You know, there's going to be people that are come to the football game because there's a wrestling show afterwards. There's going to be people who, you know, don't care about the wrestling thing. The whole idea is is to make it an entertainment for the whole family. You know, to draw more people in. It's you know we're trying to promote the fact that it's not just a football game during our six home games. We want it to be complete entertainment for for not just fans of football, but for, for the entire family. You know, there are concepts out there for not just wrestling, but concerts and, and other activities after games. We're not going to hold a wrestling show after every home game. Thank you very much for coming out. I appreciate it. And, uh, we're definitely going to do our best to put a winner out there. Thank you. short notice to send the press releases and everything out on web on Monday. Uh, thank you for coming out. If there's anything you ever need, uh, you can check out our website at springfieldstallions.com. Uh, if you ever need to get a hold of any of the owners, our email addresses are on there, and uh, we'll gladly speak with anybody about any questions that they may have or concerns. Thank you again. And there you have it. D'Lo Brown, Justin Geddes, bringing professional wrestling as icing of the cake for uh, the Springfield Stallions uh, Upcoming home games during uh, April the 7th will be nothing like uh, Vince McMahon's uh, XFL uh, football venture, but we should expect plenty of uh, competitive football and some nice competitive wrestling following. This is the Mad Conservative Crime Fighter representing the St. Louis wrestling community at STLWrestling.LiveJournal.com. <laughs>